Today is Tuesday, the 12th of April, and our reading is from John, chapter 13, 6 to 11. It is a reading when Jesus is washing the feet of Peter, Simon Peter, and Peter reacts. And Jesus said, If I don't wash you, Jesus told him, you don't really belong to me. Peter said, Lord, don't wash just my feet, wash my hands and my head. And Jesus answered, People who have bathed and are clean all over need to wash just their feet. And you, my disciples, are clean, except for one of you. Jesus knew who will betray him. That is why he said, except for one of you. Washing someone else's feet in our culture is a little bit odd, it's a little bit weird, and especially if the person is able to do it himself or herself. Obviously, there's more in this reflection than just hygiene practice. How do we picture God? What is God able to do for us? We see God in the big things, the amazing stuff, the miracles, the splitting the, the sea, the crowd of angels, the dazzling f f lights, the creation. We expect a lot about God. But washing our feet? Really? Is that God's work? And what if God was in the simple mundane acts of our life, rather than in the ground proclamation of superpower and supernatural affirmation? God came among us, not as a superhero, but as a simple human. God is in the simplicity of our life. God is in the flowers we see, and also in the mud we walked in. Let us not box God in our dreams and phantasm. Let us embrace God in our daily life. Praise be to the God who is among us. May the love in God feed us and guide us on the way, now and forever. Amen. <music>